after the Navy made the move to defend its overhyped plunder delivering electromagnetic railgun, M Railgun, in its 2022 budget request, Congress has provided an unsolicited lifeline to the program as part of the 2022 National Defense Authorization Act NDAA, that President Biden signed into law on December 27, 2021. In addition, members of Congress are pushing for a full report on the exact status of the project, including how much has already been spent developing it and what it would take to actually make the weapon operational on a ship. The Navy's proposed fiscal year 2022 budget, which it released on May 28, 2021, as part of the larger U.S. military-wide request, zeroes out two separate line items related to railgun research and development. It also shows that the service did not ask for or receive any funding for the project through the Innovative Naval Prototypes INP, Applied Research Account in the fiscal year 2021 budget. It did, however, get nearly $9.5 million in requested funding plus another $20 million that Congress decided by itself to add on top of that through the INP Advanced Technology Development portion of the budget for that fiscal cycle. The Navy spent more than a decade developing the electromagnetic railgun and once considered putting them on the new stealthy Zumwalt-class destroyers built at Maine's Bath Iron Works. But the Defense Department is turning its attention to hypersonic missiles to keep up with China and Russia, and the Navy cut funding for railgun research from its latest budget proposal. The committee notes that the fiscal year 2022 budget request does not include funding for the electromagnetic railgun program after the Navy has invested in the program for several years. The committee recognizes that the development of a functional railgun has the potential to provide the Navy with a safe, effective, and significantly less expensive offensive capability than traditional legacy weapons systems. The committee directs the Secretary of the Navy to submit a report to the Congressional Defense Committees not later than 90 days after the enactment of this act that details the status of the electromagnetic railgun program. The report shall include, but not be limited to, the status of the development and testing of the program, the amount of funding invested to date, the funding level necessary to achieve a fully functional system in the future, and the plan to incorporate this program onto Navy ships. There are a number of factors that likely contribute to this situation, one of them is likely China, which has a known M railgun program that has supposedly been tested at sea. Meanwhile, even after promises it would go to sea for testing a half decade ago, the US Navy's railgun prototype has not, and it appears totally dead in the water at this time. So, as it sits now, it looks like the railgun program will flounder on, but at least Congress will get some direct answers as to the stark realities surrounding the feasibility of the technology, even after such a heavy investment. The Electromagnetic Laboratory Railgun is a long-range naval weapon that fires projectiles using electricity instead of chemical propellants. Magnetic fields created by high electrical currents accelerate a sliding metal conductor, or armature, between two rails to launch projectiles at 4,500 miles per hour to 5,600 miles per hour. Electricity generated by the ship is stored over several seconds in the pulsed power system. Next, an electric pulse is sent to the railgun, creating an electromagnetic force accelerating the projectile to Mach 7.5. Using its extreme speed on impact, the kinetic energy warhead eliminates the hazards of high explosives in the ship, an unexploded ordnance on the battlefield.The program was initiated in 2005. A future weapon system at this energy level would be capable of launching a projectile to a range of 100 nautical miles, 